Hello everyone, it's Ryu Kuroku, and welcome back to Aiko in the last episode- Ah, I didn't mean to sit back down again. In the last episode, we got back to the Western Temple. So now we can do the same thing that we did with the Eastern Temple, and open up these lights, and open up our way, and we'll be nice and happy, and we can go get out of this stupid-ass castle thingy my thing. But this time, I mean, we don't we, we don't have the we don't have anything exciting like a um what's it my thing, a uh sword to get I guess unless we do which would be strange but um eh I don't even remember if this is the same sword that we started out with they start they, I mean come on get over here Yorda I'm going to. I swear. I'm gonna look for- I'm gonna put a uh, job ad out. I'm gonna be looking for a replacement. And they're gonna- I'm gonna fire you. I mean, you could still get some benefits on your way out, but... You're still gonna be on your way out. Eh. <laughs> Alright. On to more things. So, chances are when, uh, if this is the same as last time, I'm gonna press the switch. And those are gonna open up. But, I don't think I have a stick on me. Where do I get, where do I have, where can I get stick? Because I do need a stick. Because I would like to light those things. Um... Okay, there we go. Right next to the sword. That's obviously not important <laughs> to the story at all. I'm sure you start off with the lines, get the sword, when the sword is just like, just get a sword, not the sword, just a sword. Alright, stick. Gimme. One. Two. And... Oh, of course we could have shadows coming through. That's fine, though. These guys are pushovers now. Though I don't have my sword on me. I got the stick. And they're taking her off. Of course! Please don't be taking her upstairs. Okay. Actually, where did they take her? Oh, they did take her there. Oh, for crying out loud. Come here, Bubba. You're the first to go. Alright, maybe I have to change my target up. Maybe you're the first to go. Ah! Nope, definitely Bubba. Nope, definitely the other guy. How did you even have the time? Oh my god, they are getting more brutally difficult and aggressive. Uh, son of a bitch. Uh, we'll smack you up. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa, no bad. No touch, bad touch. Up, uh, even more bad touch. So, I mean, at least I took down the big, big guy. So now I got these small fry to take care of. Ugh. I thought I took him down. Did he come back? He might have came back. Nope, they're spawning all of a sudden more and more. But that's not hard. And I can fight at least. I wish I had my sword on me though, because then they would be a they would have been gone a long time ago. 
Come on, there you go. Good. Thank you for dying. Oh no, there's more. Wait, why are they still spawning? I would have figured I would have been done. And there isn't a gate thing that just stops it. Ugh. So am I supposed to run with her? Are they just releasing a wave after a wave just to make it a little bit more challenging to accomplish what goals I need to accomplish? No! Let me get up. There we go. Alright, so he's dead. He's dead. It's quiet now. Yeah, it looks like they keep spawning dudes. So I'm just gonna slowly make my way up and say, screw them. can get him out of the way. Alright. Mm, that looks like that'll be enough. Please come up here so we can move on and progress the plot. Ugh. Frickin' Yorda. <laughs> Spent way too many minutes on fighting them asses. Alright, so there's the thingy methane. So, I mean, all I would have to do is rotate, right? Yeah, there we go. Figured as much, because they showed us the first one, which was already rotated. So, it's actually nice that they foreshadowed some kind of event. But now we're going to go up here. Because I believe we just need basically one more, uh... Come here. Please come here. For your life of God, climb that ladder faster. Ah. Uh, there we go. Alright, so... Anything? Nothing I can really do here. Oh. Yep. I goofed. It is fine, though. Definitely fine, because I'm just going to jump up here and then I'm going to... Go up that ladder again, and I'm going to do my thingy my thing. And everyone will be happy. <sighs> Alright. Look, jump. Yes. Alright, so let's climb up this chain here. I decided to do it a little bit differently, I guess. Uh, that looks like that has to be bombed. Ah, ba ba ba. Jump. Maybe I should have grabbed the sword while I was at it. Alright, I'm just gonna cut ahead to where I grab the sword. Alright, we are back, and I am slicing things. So we can open this bridge up. Alright, so there's one. Yeah, we just need the other one. 
This is a little bit more complicated than last time. Uh, just a tiny margin. At least on this screen. Might not be so bad considering it doesn't look like I've had to do the whole water thing. And I don't know if I have to do the whole water thing. That opens, but I don't care about that for now. Um, let's see. Let me try to, let me see what's across the bridge first, and then we will care about things. Um, I don't like being off screen though. Okay, that brings us back over here. But that also brings us bombs. Which is extremely important to our endeavors. But, I don't have a stick and I don't have fire. What the? Why'd you drop it? I didn't even press a button to drop it. Just flat out dropped it. Okay, there's some fire there. Are you telling me I have to go back down to pick up the stick? <sighs> Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Again. Okay, apparently I missed this switch. I don't know what this one does, though. Ah. So what am I doing up here, then? Or down... Up on the top floor, then? That makes literally no sense. Alright, one. Damn it. Please let me tell me I can light this. Good, it's smart. There we go. Alright, so that's open now. So we're halfway there. But, I've noticed that we don't have light going on. So, I guess we're going to figure that out in the next episode. But this is Zuri Kuroku. I'll see you guys later.